What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome to my current subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is Libra's Oracle Card Reading for the sign of Libra for May of 2022. This can resonate if you have Libra in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, like I said, this is a free Oracle card reading for Sign of Libra for May of 2021, uh, 20 of 22. Um, this can resonate if you have Libra in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. It's very important to only take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Um, very, very, very important. So just throwing that out there. Thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,325 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display how much you donate. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, not how much you donate. I do not publicly display your name. Um, if you choose to donate through my PayPal for privacy and confidentiality purposes. Um, thanks so much for all the love and support to your channel. I received one channel message um, as I was, was meditating on your May of 2022's um, Oracle card reading. And I heard a feminine Libra 35 and below is about to get a, um, a race. In. So that's a beautiful one. So whoever that's for, it's a fem Libra 35 and below, whoever you are out in the universe. I heard you're about to get a raise soon. So whoever you are, you work out in, in the workforce in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I heard you're about to get a raise soon. You're 35 or below. You could have Libra in any aspects of your charts, and you are feminine energy. So congrats to whoever that's for. Um, raises are awesome, fantastic. So congrats. Spirit messages you have sign Libra. Um, I encourage everybody to check out their other placements if you would like to do so. Your uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Him, and Jupiter chart placements. Also, you're welcome to cross watch on the other signs if you would like to do so. Spirit messages you have, Sun Libra. Uh, one message may resonate, two plus may resonate, none may resonate. Um, you have to plug these messages into your own personal life situation, however they apply. If they do apply, please do not force anything does, that does not fit. Spirit messages you have for sign of Libra. A dark side Libran is very, very pissed that they cannot feed off a of particular feminine energy, sexual energy anymore. Very low sex drive now. Very low desire drive and motivation. Oh, my Lord. So, oh, so you plug in how it resonates. So that's a dark side, Libra. If it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. It's a dark side, Libra. I heard um, they apparently were feeding off of feminine energy, sexual energy in the past. Um, but it sounds like it's boomeranged back on them. I heard they have um, low sex drive now. And... Um, uh, low, low uh, desire, drive, and motivation. So I don't, um, I feel in depression energy there, possibly. If, I mean, they have low desire, drive, and motivation, that's probably depression energy. Um, and definite low sex drive. It's a dark side Libra, um, whoever that person is. I feel that could be a masculine or a feminine. Okay, we have January, fair woman, dealings in a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair, and teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. Experiments to just have some Libra. A very mature 
Libran, high vibrational Libran reader is about to re receive great success in their business soon. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, that's a good one. A um, very high vibrational Libran reader. So I feel this person could be masculine or feminine, whoever this person is and how they apply in your life. I heard they, um, they're a high vibrational Libran reader. Um, I heard they're about to receive great success in their business soon. So um, they, tarot card reading, I'm feeling is either one of their businesses or is their main business. I'm not sure, but the, um, they definitely, it sounds like have formed a business from tarot card reading. Um, I heard they're about to receive great success in their business soon. They're a high vibrational um, Libran reader. So they keep their vibe space high. They don't go around wishing negative ill or intent on people, trying to put hexes or curses or negative incantations on people. Whoever they are and how they apply, I feel they can be masculine or feminine. Spirit messages you have a sign of Libra. Also, you could be dealing with the, um, that's too many. You could be dealing with a fire sign, a water sign, or a um, earth sign because you have porcupine spirit, well spirit, and brown bear spirit. Porcupine spirit is fire spirit, uh, fire sign energy. Well spirit is water sign energy. Brown bear spirit is earth sign energy. If you are, they could have um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North Node, Midheaven, or Jupiter charts. If you are dealing with any of those signs in your life. Miracles and strength. Okay, number 48, 65, 9, 31 or 2 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 48, 65, 9, 31 or 2. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 48, 65, 9, 31, 2. Porcupine spirit, time for um, beginnings. Sorry about the cards. My cat spilled water on them. New cycles beginning for many Libras. Some Libras are very happy about this, clearing negative energy. Some were forced to, to start these cycles. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. So um, new cycle energy here. So 10, 10, 10, completions of cycles, beginning a new cycle. Um, that I mean, this is a really good, it's positive or negative, yin and yang here. Um, for some of you guys, you're very happy about this. It sounds like some kind of negative energy has cleared and you're excited about this new beginning, whoever you are. You're excited. Um, I feel you're a light side being here and you're ready to move in your new positive cycle here. Um, excited for new beginnings, time to move on kind of energy. I feel definite light side being energy here, whoever you are, Libra, if this message applies for you. But the other one, you were forced to move on. So you didn't want to move on from some kind of a cycle. Um, I feel you were intentionally trying to keep a cycle stuck. If this particular message applies for you, you're intentionally trying to keep a cycle stuck. Um, also, I almost feel forceful energy here. Like you were trying to force the wheel stuck, but somehow the wheel started moving whether you wanted it to or not, um, kind of energy. If that resonates for you. Um, but definite new beginnings here, no matter which spectrum you're on, on situation one or situation two. Um, sounds like the wheel's moving, whether you are happy about it moving or, or not. However that resonates. And Aries is about to completely com cut communication with the Libra.
You are not going to be happy about this, but it needs to be done. Okay, I heard of Aries is about to completely cut communication with the Libra. Whoever, whatever Libra this is for, I heard you're not going to be happy about this, but it needs to be done. So whoever you are, Libra, I feel it could be a masculine or feminine. Aries, I feel you could be a masculine or feminine Libra, but some kind of Aries energy, if that message resonates with you. I heard there, it sounds like they are about to free willingly cut communication with you, um, whoever you are. I heard you're not going to like it. So it sounds like you're, I mean, you're obviously not going to like them cutting communication with you, but I heard it needs to be done. I think they feel it needs to be done for them um, or for a situation or something of that nature. Um, how that applies in one's life. Well, spirit, trust the great mystery. One Libra has severe, 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 severe control issues, but it's time to let go. One is very, very, very codependent. One very codependent on a water sign, one very codependent on a fire sign. It's time to let go. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Um, so whoever you are um, for this particular message, I heard you, um, you're very codependent. Um, whoever you are, you're very codependent. Um, some on a water sign, some on a fire sign. Some it could be on, been on that Aries possibly. Um, but however that applies, you're very, you're, whoever this is for, you're very codependent on someone or some people. For some it's a water sign, for some it is a fire sign, for some it could be Several water signs, several fire signs, or a mixture of both, how that resonates. But I heard it's basically time to let go. It's time to let go. For some, I feel in its codependency on that Aries. Because um, it sounds like the Aries is about to free willingly let you go. Uh, for them, for their their health, for their sanity, for their life. Um, but how that resonates, um, I heard it's time to let go. So trust the great mystery and basically you manifesting and growing your own self. You getting out there and doing your own thing. You going out and living life, fourth life in your own aspect. Um, codependency on people, person or people, is never a good thing, you guys. It's never a good thing because it doesn't help you learn, grow, and manifest in your own self and in the world. You want to be, um, it's good to be independent on your, on your own. It's good to learn and grow and manifest on your own. It's good to experience things on your own and to get out there and, and live life for you. Um, whoever that is for. It may just be for one or two of you guys. Um, but trust the great mystery as far as releasing the codependency here is what I'm feeling um, for whoever that particular message is for. One particular Libra is very, very, very excited about new ventures in their life. New ventures, fresh ventures. Very excited about life coming forth. Not knowing what is going, not knowing what is coming, but that's okay. Well, that's a good one. See, we have a mixture of positive and negative in here, so you really have to plug yourself in wherever you fit. Um, whatever message is fit for you. So, one of you guys is very, very excited. You're excited about the great mystery. One is very codependent um, on the. They don't want the great mystery. One really wants the great mystery. So, one of you guys is not codependent. You are ready to set forth in new ventures in your life by yourself or on your own. I mean, you're ready to go forth, baby. You're ready to set sail. And I love it. Um, you are trusting the right mystery. If that particular message resonates for you in the second category in here, you are trusting the right mystery. You're excited about the great mystery. You're ready to go forth in an independent manner there. Whoever you are, you're very excited. You don't know what's going to come. Whoever you are, you don't know what's going to come, come to you, but you're ready to take forth any kind of venture, basically. Um, that's a wonderful mindset, whoever that's for. Brown Bear Spirit, take time out. Remember, self-care is very important. Very important. Okay, well, that's a good one. I heard remember self-care is very important, very important. So take time out 
in this aspect of that message is this self-care. Remember to take self-care time for yourself. Love on yourself. Because if you can are not good for yourself, you cannot be good for others. You cannot be good for the universe. You cannot be good for situations in the universe and handle things in a proper copacetic manner. So I'm taking this as make sure to take, do your self-care. Do your self-care. Take care of you. Um, take care of yourself um, mentally and physically so you can um, be good for situations and others in the universe when they come across, come upon you. Um, that's beautiful. Whoever well, that's for. A particular Libra is about to really, really sit back and reflect on the past after many series of chain of events. One particular Libra is about to get bombarded with communication soon. Bombarded. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So if this resonates, that message resonates with you. You're about to sit back and reflect on the past, whoever you are, because you're about to get bombarded with communication. And I heard bombarded twice, so double confirmation for bombarded. Now, anybody doesn't know bombarded means coming, 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 like a bunch of it. So it sounds like a bunch of communications about to come, come at you, Libra, whoever you are, if that message applies. Um, and you're about to sit, I think, the bombardment of the communication. Now, I don't know if this is text, messages, calls snail mail email or it might be a mixture of one or two um mixture of two plus of those things how that resonates but some kind of bombardment of communication is going to make you sit back and reflect on the past um this bombardment of communication so i think you're going to take time out sit back and reflect on the past because of this bombardment of communication soon it sounds like it hasn't happened yet it sounds like it's about to whoever you are and how however that applies libra it could be bombardment of communication from a fire sign, a water sign, or earth sign, possibly, um, because you have fire sign, uh, water sign, and earth sign energy in here, possibly for some of you guys, or not, however that resonates. January. A very, very, very significant event happened in January of 2022. Very significant event. It's about to come full circle for a particular Libra soon. Okay, I heard a very, very, very significant event happen in um, January of 2022. It's about to come full circle for Libra soon. So some kind of significant, very significant event. Either you created this event or somebody else created this event. Hold on one second, you guys. Yeah. Yep, go ahead. Go ahead. Yep. Okay, sorry about that. Some kind of very, very, very significant event that occurred in January 2022. I don't know if you um, created this event or somebody else did, but some kind of significant event, however this occurs in one's life, it's about to come full circle soon. Some, it's the birth of a child. Some, it's someone moving on. You do not want moving on. For some, it's the leakage of many children in the universe oh my lord Whew. okay so for some of you guys it's the birth of a child so the, it sounds like the significant event that happened um that occurred in january 2022 the birth of a child so i think you found out about a child in the universe um in utero in january 2022 and now the child's about to be born that's what i think for whoever that's for for that particular one uh, for some, it is finding out about many children in the universe. So, somebody, whether it's you or somebody you're, I don't think it's you in this aspect, it's somebody you're connected to, you're about to find out about many children in the universe that this person has birthed or has in utero. I think for some, you might be with this person, like in a relationship, or you might be connected to them in some shape, form, or fashion, and they have been hiding this from you. Maybe for some, you 
reconnected with them in January 2022. I'm thinking for some, or for some, you got into a relationship with them, or for some, something like that. Um, but somehow, many children being birthed, um, being found out in the universe, whether they're in utero or already out in the universe, is about to become significant now, full circle now. I think you might have linked up with this person in January 2022 or got into a relationship with them or something of that nature, Libra. Um, it's not you. It's somebody you're connected to. And for the other situation, it's someone moving on you don't want moving on. So maybe you were trying to keep them stuck in January 2022 or you're trying to reconcile with them in January 2022 or you try to communicate with them in January 2022, something like that. But now you're, it's about to come full circle and you're about to realize they're, they're really moving on, whether you want them to or not. How that applies in one's life. Fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. A particular Libra has realized someone has lawyered up. Oh, okay. That's all I heard. So you plug it in how it res resonates. A particular Libra has realized someone has lawyered up. Lawyered up. So I'm presuming they probably, I mean, they could have a public defender or they could have uh, gotten a private lawyer. How that resonates. But whoever you are, Libra, you have realized, it sounds like now you've already realized in the universe that someone has lawyered up. So maybe you didn't think this person would lawyer up. You didn't think they were, I mean, because if you don't get a private lawyer, you can get a public defender. Um, so I don't, I mean, I guess you didn't think this person would get a public defender or a private lawyer. Um, how that resonates, but now you realize they've lawyered up. How that resonates in one's life. Fair woman, dealings a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. For some, this is a family member and they're about to become very, very, very significant in your life, some in a positive way, some in a, some in a negative way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, for some of you guys, this is a family member I heard and they're about to become very significant in your life, um, some in a positive way, some in a negative way. So for some of you guys, this is a, a family member that sounds like it's about to become very significant in your life, some in a positive way, some in a negative way. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Um, I feel she could, it's a feminine energy I'm feeling, uh, cause this is fair woman card, or it could be a masculine energy that takes on heavy femme. So for some, it actually could be a femme energy or for some, it could be a masculine that takes on heavy femme, but I definitely feel they have blonde, gray or white hair. However, that resonates in one's life. A death of, of the past is about to become very, very, very significant for a particular Libra. This person is about to become very integral in that. Okay, I heard a death of a um, death of a not a Libra. I'm sorry, death of someone in the past. So, some kind of cold case energy. It sounds like um, is about to become very significant for a particular Libra. Um, this person is about to become very integral in that situation. So to me, this could be the family member. This could be a family member of the person that passed away. This could be um, an investigator. Um, this could be forensics. Um, whoever this person is and how they're about, about to become very significant in this cold case S type energy of the past. Um, how that applies. Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. A particular Libra is about to become friends with someone they never thought they would. They have heard horrible things about this person. Horrible, horrible, horrible things. But they're realizing they were lies. 
Oh my lord! So you plug it in how it resonates. This is actually a good one, leaves, because um, this shows that you're thinking for yourself. This shows whoever this particular message is for. This is showing you're thinking for yourself. Um, kudos to whoever this is for. Um, I heard um, you're about to become friends with someone you never thought you'd become friends with. I feel you can be masculine or feminine. How this applies for you, but whether you're masculine or feminine, I feel they are the same sex. So because it's deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So. You can be masculine or feminine, but whoever you're about to come friends with, you never thought you were going to become friends with because you heard such horrible things about them in the past, basically. Uh, someone basically just slandered their name all over the universe and lied about them because sl slander is lies. Um, I think it gave you a negative mindset of them in the past, but you're about to start thinking for yourself and realizing all that crap they said about this person was a huge freaking lie. And so... It sounds like energy is about to shift with you and this person and you actually are about to like them because you're about to realize all that crap was lies and falsities and you're about to really like them and it sounds like you're actually about to become friends but like i said you could be a masculine or femme libra but whoever this person is it sounds like upcoming in the universe that this is about to happen with whoever this libra um whatever mess message whatever libra this is for this person is of the same sex as you so if you're masculine, I feel they're masculine. If you're feminine, I feel they're feminine. Oh, that resonates. But um, that's really beautiful because, like I said, it, it shows that you're thinking for yourself. Um, because you're about to discern the real from the fake, not just going off what people say. You're going off really what you're seeing. Um, and that's beautiful. What this person is putting into the universe. And it sounds like you're about to like it. Miracles. A camper is about to become very significant in a Libra's life. Flat tire. For some. For some. Is long, will be long to you. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I just heard keep it in good condition. Um, so you plug in how it resonates. So for some of you guys, a camper is about to become very significant to you. For some, it's a camper that sounds like it's about to be long to you. I heard specifically keep it in good condition. So, you know, of course, you know, when you borrow something from somebody, you always want to keep it in good condition or better condition than what it was long to you out of respect for that person. Um, that's a freaking lootly. So, um, I heard specifically keep it in good good condition. So maybe you've loaned uh, somebody has loaned you something in the past and you did not keep it in good condition. Possibly, I don't know. I'm not judging here. I'm just t don't shoot the messenger. I just heard keep it in good condition. So maybe when you guys didn't have a good track record keeping loaned items in good condition. Possibly, I don't know. Only you know your story, ain't anybody else. But but you're about to be loaned a camper. At least one of you guys. Um, so you know, of course, you want to keep it in good condition or better condition than what you received it because out of the goodness of their heart to let you borrow it. Um, and one, it sounds like it's not a loan camper. It might be your camper or you're renting a camper or something of that nature, but some kind of flat tire energy. If I, It sounds like on the camper or it might be a flat tire, maybe so, with something else on your camping trip in a camper. Um, some kind of flat tire energy regarding a camper. So however that resonates, I don't really feel that's miracles. Um, well, it could be a miracle, somebody um, allowing you to borrow a camper. Uh, maybe you never thought that uh, they would let you borrow this camper. Uh, you plug it in, how it resonates. A Libra is about to solve a case. Gunshot. Gunshot case. Gunshot case? You plug it in how it resonates. Gunshot case. A Libra is about to solve a case. Gunshot case is what I heard. Gunshot case. So I feel you might be an investigator. I feel you might be an investigator. Um, like a, I do. I feel you might be an investigator. Like a um, police investigator. I heard gunshot case. 
police investigator, or you might be feds or work for the state or something, but some kind of gunshot case energy. It sounds like you're about to solve this case. Um, some kind of mystery regarding um, some kind of gunshot incident in the past. Um, and it sounds like you're about to solve it. So someone got shot in the past. Um, for some, it could be two plus people, but it sounds like you were the one investigating this or about to investigate it. I think feel you're already investigating it and um, you're about to solve it. So miracle in solving this case is what I'm feeling for whoever that's for. Maybe you're going to take time out, reflect and get an epiphany and then it comes to you or some kind of information comes to you out of the blue and boom, you've got the case. Um, however, that resonates. Manifesting candles. Okay, I heard manifesting candles. Um, manifesting candles. So um, maybe you, I'm thinking money manifestation candles is what I'm thinking. Um, that's what I'm feeling. I heard manifesting candles. So I feel one of you guys is burning manifesting candles or you're about to. Um, there's money manifestation candles out there. There's love manifestation candles too. Um, there's positive affirmation manifestation candles. There's many different manifestation candles. I feel one of you guys already has one of these candles candle or candles or you're about to purchase them um like i said there's money manifestation candles there's um love manifestation candles there's um positive affirmation manifestation candles but i feel one of you guys wants a miracle to happen in your life so maybe you're going to purchase um one or two plus of these candles or you already have purchased one or two plus of these candles however that resonates in one's life strength A particular Libra is about to really see an Aquarius and a Leo's relationship blossom. You're about to have great strength. You never thought this would happen, but it is about to happen. Oh, my Lord, you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, whoever this Aquarius and Leo is to you, I was pulling in Aquarius and Leo energy and somebody else is reading too. Um, I can't remember what sign it was, but it was another sign. I was pulling in Aquarius and Leo energy as well. I heard you never thought it would happen. You never thought this Aquarius and Leo's relationship would blossom. I heard their relationship is about to blossom. So it could be a platonic friendship or it could be more, um, relationship, um, some kind of relationship is about to blossom, whether it's platonic or whether it is more than platonic between some kind of Aquarius and Leo energy. It could be a masculine or femme Aquarius, masculine or femme Leo, but somehow the relationship is about to start blossoming. Um, you never thought it would happen. Uh, I heard you're going to have to uh, have a lot of strength um, when you learn of this. So um, I don't, who, whatever Libra this is for, I don't think you're going to want this to happen is what I'm trying to say. I don't think you're going to want this to happen. Um, I heard you never, I heard you, never thought it would happen you never thought it would happen but it sounds like it is about to happen and so i think you're going to have to bring a lot of strength to yourself because it is about to happen um i don't think you want it to happen whoever this is for if this resonates for you um you're about to take on your own leo energy here and have a lot of strength when you see this relationship blossom between this aquarius and this leo whoever this aquarius and leo is to you um and how this applies Strong man competition. Oh my Lord, I heard strong man competition. Strong man competition. Um, Comic Con and Comic Con. Strong man competition and Comic Con. So maybe one of you guys um, is about to attend Comic Con or you know someone that's going to attend Comic Con or you like Comic Con. Or you work at Comic Con, however that resonates. Comic Con is awesome. Just saying, just saying, saying. Um, 
and then strongman competition maybe one of you guys is about to enter a strongman competition or you work at a strongman competition or you're about to connect with someone in a strongman competition or entering a strongman competition however that resonates and of course the strength using strength in strongman competition just saying just saying A particular Libra is about to get a phone call from the city soon. Be very smart to handle this in a very adult manner here. Oh, Lord. I heard a particular Libra is about to get a phone call from the city soon. Um, it'd be very smart to handle it in a very adult manner here. Uh, well, I, I don't, oh, I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, a, a phone call from the city. So uh, I heard it be very smart to handle it in an, in, an, in an adult manner. So a mature manner. I feel you'd be masculine or feminine energy, whoever you are, leaves. It doesn't, I mean, however that resonates. But maybe you have a history of being very immature in the past is what I'm feeling, whoever that's for. Because I heard it be very smart to handle it in an, in an adult manner. So I think you might have a history of being very immature. And whoever's about to contact you from the city, I think that they know this. Um, or somebody knows you have a history of being immature, whoever you are and how this applies. Um, I think you're about to have very, a lot of strength to be very immature, um, to be not immature, to be very mature. Of course, you can listen to the spiritual downloads or not. Of course, you can choose to be immature when you speak to this person or people from the city or not. Um, but it, it wouldn't be, it doesn't sound like it'd be smart to do so. I mean, why would anyone want to get on the phone with someone from the city and act immature? I sure as hell wouldn't. Um, but, of course, everybody has free will. Only you take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. You can choose to listen to the spiritual downloads or not. Um, however, that resonates in one's life. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A Libra is about to notice huge changes as someone's home soon they know it's over about to do the right thing okay i heard a libra is about to notice huge changes at someone's home soon they know it's over about to do the right thing so whoever you are libra and how this applies in one's life i feel you can be my sort of friend libra um, whoever you are, if this message applies for you. But I heard you uh, are about to notice huge changes at someone's home soon. So I, I feel you might drive by their home or they might live in your neighborhood. However, this resonates and applies in one's life. Or they might post something on social media regarding their home and you see it. I feel it can go any of those ways. I feel you're either about to drive by their home and see these physical changes by driving by their home yeah i'm still on give me one second um i feel you're about to drive you're okay you're about to drive by their home and realize physical changes in their home or around their home or something like that hold on wait 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 hold on you guys hold on one second go ahead go go okay sorry sorry about that um, and you're about to realize the physical changes at their home by driving by their home, or you're about to see it maybe on social media. They post something on social media about their home or, um, or something of that nature. But you're about to realize somehow you're about to see their home either on social media or in physical space, whether you're their neighbor or drive by their home or something like that. And you're about to realize something's over and it's about to make you do the right thing. So whatever the right thing is and how that applies to you, Libra, I think you're about to have strength. I think you think it's a miracle. Something's over. I think it was something negative in the past that happened. Um, how that applies in one's life, Libra. I think it was something negative that happened to this person. You're about to um, either drive by their home or see something on social media regarding their home. Um, I think you never thought it would end, but it's a miracle that it has ended. Um, and you're about to have strength and do the right thing. However, that resonates in one's life, Libra. All right, well, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody made wonderful choices, and I hope this helped. And if you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, please share these videos on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. Um, namaste.